testimony began today in the capital murder trial of Rashad Owens. He is the man accused of driving through a crowd of people during last year's South by Southwest Festival. Fox 7's Rudy Koski is live at the Travis County Justice Complex with more tonight. Rudy. Hi, Rebecca. Things wrapped up just a few moments ago, and the jury just walked out, headed back home, but they will be back first thing in the morning. Now, defense attorneys for Rashad Owens claim prosecutors have offered them a plea deal that would have prevented a lengthy trial, but that deal was for life in prison, so it was decided for them this case wouldn't be, uh, be about trying to beat a guilty verdict, but would be about trying to get a lighter sentence. Rashad Owens entered court Monday not to deny what happened. His defense strategy is all about intent. We're not asking for forgiveness for that. We're asking for you to be reasonable. We're asking for you to look at all the evidence and weigh all the evidence fairly. The jury was shown images of the chaotic scene last year along Red River that happened after Owens drove through a crowd outside of a South by Southwest venue. Meredith Bradley testified seeing Owens traveling the wrong way up 9th and then pass through a barricade. I saw the first guy get hit and just uh, bounced off the car, I mean off the hood and then onto the, uh, onto the glass. Um, onto the windshield? Part? Yeah, onto the windshield and then bounce off the, the vehicle. So I just saw all the first people get hit and then the screaming and people running around. Um, and I didn't, the car just kept, kept going. Scott Schematicki was among the two dozen people who were run down. I remember my head hitting the windshield uh, by the front of the car and uh, rolling off, rolling off this after hitting the uh, windshield, my head on the windshield bouncing off kind of rolling backwards off the side of the car onto the ground. Harvey Akeem Welcome testified he tried to get Owens to stop and was almost hit. The only alternative was to come my way, which he did. And he ran over the cone when he, I seen him turn the corner. That's when I jumped and I grabbed on the pole. Witnesses like Travis Cook testified that Owens accelerated as he drove through the crowd. And they say they never saw his brake lights flash. The most shocking thing was just seeing um, a number of people being struck by the vehicle is what I really remember most. Four people were killed in the incident. Owens at the time was being chased by an Austin police officer who tried to pull him over for not having his lights on. Defense attorneys argued that at the time Owens was confused, then panicked, but never intended to hurt anyone. According to court documents, Owens was drunk, which played a big factor into the capital murder charge filed against him. Voluntary intoxication is not a defense. And after saying that, prosecutors also said that they are convinced that they can prove that Owens was intent on what he did, but in, do in saying that, they also are not seeking the death penalty if a guilty verdict is brought back on the capital murder charge. Now back to you in the studio. All right, Rudy Koski live in downtown tonight.